it is it is very difficult it is very difficult in life i've been trying to talk to you people a few minutes ago i have to delete the video just because of where i find myself i am deeply disappointed a few hours ago i came live to call for the release of the chiefs of my 15 and my 16 simon kombe of my 16 and a wule efande emmanuel of my 15. this is just after the death of chief ikomengale i am going to come to the issue of chieftaincy of fun or of or fondom in our homeland i will come to that soon i've discussed this issue with the french a couple of hours ago but this is what I want you people to know. I am deeply disappointed. For any young man who claims they are a, they carry the back of a blood in them, the blood of Kuvali Kenya, one of the greatest fighters, one of the greatest generals who humbled the Germans, to come out and threaten our own brothers and sisters. This has been going on and on and on and on. When I came out, I condemn the kidnapping of the chiefs. This was not an issue between the people of the northern region and those of the southern region or the Bakurians. This madness must got to stop. This lunatic. You people should tell him that I call him a lunatic. And the only reason this guy is moving around and causing all these atrocities is because most of you have not given us the opportunity to do our job. We will take out Individuals like this. I don't want to go as low as he has gone. He does not represent the Bakuri people. He does not. I am even begin to, beginning to doubt who the father is. As I said before, there is a saying that only a woman knows who is the dad of the father to have a son or daughter. The woman who gave birth to this, to this criminal to this individual who is doing the same thing that the journalist at Radio Set Colin did in Rwanda, leading, perpetuating the genocide. Only the mother knows this guy does not represent the Bakuri people. And I've made this clear to every Bakurian. The people from the Northwest were not there when Inoni Ephraim and Peter Musonge were fighting for power. It wasn't the people of the Northwest. It is you, Bakurians, greedy individuals, because you want to eat stockfish. You are fighting over stockfish, over beer, over a one fathom of, of Rapa Sanja. You disgrace ourselves, you set up our own brother Inoni, they lock him up. Where is Peter Mafani Musonge? Where is him? The descendants of Kuvali Kenya do not do segregation. Kenya was one of the greatest generals that have ever existed. When you talk about him, then you can go to the Northwest and talk about the, the great fighters from Balinyonga, from the Balifondom. This is a man who humbled the Germans. Today, a, a riff rat will come out. He calls himself a chief or whatsoever. You can talk. You can move around and run your mouth. And you're threatening some people that you give them 24 hours. Who, who the hell do you think you are? I am a Bakurian. My name is Mbongo Moluta. You do not represent me, young man. You and your gang. And I think the time is coming for us to finish this type of madness in that land. We must end it. There is no way that they will hold people accountable for crimes against humanity without holding young people, criminals like these ones. Otherwise, justice will never come. Every son and daughter who is a Southern Cameroonian, who feels, who thinks, who sleeps, who dreams as an Ambazonian, deserves to live anywhere in that land. If they care, they can go to Bokwai, they can go to Bona, to, 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 uh, to, they can go up to Bonakanda, they can go up to Bova, they can stay anywhere. They can even go to my village of Buanda, which is after my 16. They are free to stay there. That is it. I did not see them saw people got up and start chasing all criminals. 
or, or, or let me say all foreigners or people who do not belong to the to the Saul kingdom that they should go out because the front of Saul and Tumi were being held. How can we develop a, a, an attitude with Bakwarians that every time there is an issue, we do not look ourselves in the mirror. We always want to find scapegoats. And the scapegoats that are it's so easy for us are the people from the Northwest. When they were bringing people from Campbell to come and walk in Fako, is it not because we're lazy? Is it not our laziness that makes people to be brought from Campbell to come and work in the Cameroon Development Corporation? Is it not our laziness? I will say it as I see it. Farming, we don't do. We sell all our land. We sell the land to who? We sell it to the same people who are asking them to pack and go. You take one land, you sell to 15 people. The same thing the Dwala people are doing. You sell everything that you have. Even your children don't have anything to live on. Your grandchildren, they meet nothing. You sell and you even live in Karabot buildings constructed on that same land by the same people from the Northwest. You pay them rent. The time you don't even have money to pay, they will forgive you and keep you there. They start giving you colocasia, ibo coco, plantains, banana, poyo to eat. You, a bakore man, because you have sold everything that our forefathers gave us. And you have the guts to come out and tell them that pack and go. When they pack and go, what will you do? Can you plant even tomatoes? This young criminal who is moving around, can you plant tomatoes? You are putting on a black shoe, a black shirt, and the rest. After you have killed so many people, they have given you a small cash you put in your pocket. And then you go after the people from the Northwest that they should pack and go. Pack and go where? You own which land? I come from Buanda. Do you think you can control Buanda? Do you have Bakure blood more than me? You and that gang that you people have. Who do you people think you are? Eh? It is this stupidity that we allow the Betty people to come and make Musonge to be fighting with Inoni. They fought auntie. What happened? What happened? I know that we are very smart people, we Bakurians. We are people that if we want to do something, we do it. If we don't want to do it, we don't do it. We don't know how to betray. We just know how to either do it or don't do it. Betray is not part of the Bakure clan. Where do you come from? You this traitor. Where do you come from? You and your gang. Bakure people don't betray. They take decisions. They are either for it or they are against it. We know tribes in Ambazona, in Southern Cameroon, who are traitors. That they cannot change. To betray is in their blood. It's not in the blood of a Bakure man. If a Bakure person is with you, it's with you. If they're not with you, they're not with you. But you come from where? You traitor. You come from where? Where is your own quality of the Bakure blood? You, you have the audacity? You guys keep going on and doing this madness? This nonsense? We Bakureans cannot even sit on our own and fix our house. The one that live in Vo, they say that Bakurian from the Victoria area, the one from Boya, they come from Boya, fighting every day, quarreling. Because when, when the, the Betis throw us crumbs, we fall on those crumbs, we start fighting. We want stuffed fish. We want Sanja. Eh? A few of our moms that can climb up the mountain will bring up uh, Coco Makabo. We make what Coco? If we don't make Bible, we make Tim Tim Timanamusa. We eat, we drink, we make, oh, we have sold all our land. Everything. Even young Bakure, young men and women, Bakurians, they come from abroad, they don't have where they can build. They can't do anything. They, they can't even build a school or a hospital. Because you guys have sold everything. To the same people that you get up, every time you see that things are not going your way, you say they should pack and go. I fought for the release of Chief Simon Kombe as much as I don't agree with him. I fought for the release of a Wule Efande Emmanuel. I was not just fighting because they are chiefs, because Kombe is my chief from my 16. My real chief is from Buanda. I am a Buanda child. You might not know where Buanda is. It's after my 16. That is where my great grandfather and my great and my grandfather come from. Mbongo Moluta, the one I represent. Go and find out. That is where my family grave is. In Buanda. We are the only people with a family grave in the entire my 16 area. We have a family grave. 
Every descendant of our family is buried there. We are not buried in a public area. So you sit now, you want to talk on our behalf? You say it's time for them to go to park and go where? If somebody has to go, you should be going to jail. You should be tried. You and your hoodlums. You do not represent the Bakure people. You don't represent me and the vast majority of Bakure people, you do not represent them. These are chiefs. I do not condone anybody to be kidnapped. As much as people always see me and say, oh, kidnapper, because I took a decision which is very fair. I do not. Because I know it does not occur well with international humanitarian law. We are at war. There are rules governing every war you fight. You don't just do anything. The people who did not carry arms in Rwanda killed more people than those who carried arms. Those who said they were journalists up the hills, Radio said Colin, they called for genocide. That is what you are doing. You have killed more people just by uttering those words and telling people to pack and go. You are not different from beer. And I can assure you, you and your descendants will pay for it. I don't speak lightly. I will find you, me. I will find you. I'm a Sokadefian. No matter how long it takes, Mr. Chief, as you call yourself, let me pass this message to you. Arm yourself well. Go and get the highest jazz you want to find. I will find you and I will bring you to justice. No single person who comes from the Northwest should be scared of this, of, of, of this twat. It is your right to defend yourself. Defend yourself. These are chiefs. I asked 24 hours, they have been released. I get 24 hours. They have been released. I do not want to find out what were the circumstances of their arrest or kidnapping or whatever people want to call. But this is what I want you to know. From the day that the colonialist and the neo-colonialist, La Republic du Cameroon, began classifying our traditional rulers, our people stopped having chiefs and forms. I want to make this very clear. Because at times we, we are shocked. We say, oh, look at what the form of this place is doing. Look at what this chief is doing. No. The people of Southern Cameroon cease having chiefs and forms from the day custodians of the tradition became part of a classification. First class, second class, third class. Chief tenancy is supposed to be hereditary. It should be coming from the blood. It is not something that has to do with a DO, a divisional officer, or an SDO. A chief is not supposed to be an arm of the government. He is supposed to be the bulwark of the culture and traditions of his people. There is no doubt that Chief Kombe and the others cannot be this. Not because they cannot be. Because the system they find themselves has compelled them to do the things they do. That is the only reason I have sympathy for them. Because they, I know that they themselves are captives. All these chiefs and forms. You might do what you want to do. You don't know where these people are. They are captives. Any one of you who have accepted them in that role, where they are being paid salary, for God's sake, how much money do the some people spend on their, on, on their phone? How much? They build a palace, they renew the palace. How much do they spend a year on the farm? What amount of money can any government pay that in some people cannot take care of the farm? But when the farm has been reduced to a situation where he is receiving salaries, he's been classified, the farm chiefs and farms are even fighting on who should be first class, second class, and third class. That takes them away from being custodians of our culture and tradition. They become an arm of the same system. So we should stop seeing them as just some traditional rulers. No. We should see them in that regard. We should see them in that regard. So this is, um, the reason I'm saying is that we should understand this very well. We call them chiefs, yes. They run the area, yes. That is why when a chief has a problem, instead of calling the traditional council and solving, they are running to the gendarmes and the police. They are going to the deals. 
you even have situations where in Manu division in particular, where everybody there is a chief in Manu, woman, chief, man picking, chief. You come to one family, they have 15 children, all are chiefs. Chief Ayok, Chief Abo, Chief Ebot, Chief Besem, Chief Bison, Chief Tani. Everybody is a chief. And that is how they start fighting with that chief dancing with small red cap on their head. That small red cap is what they are tearing themselves together. In the Bakurela, it is just an issue of being invited to come and take an envelope so that you can buy Mokanju and stock fish. And then they can cook you big bangasu. You are eating, you are drinking red wine. And then you think that you have arrived, you put your hand like this. Chief, how are you? Chief does not even have where he can throw stone because he has sold even his backyard. They have sold everything. To the same people they get up in the morning and tell them to pack and go. When there is something, you should look at what is wrong and stop trying to single out individuals. The people of the Northwest province are not our problem. We, the Bakorians, are our problem. We are